this is 10 questions with tune 3 radio and i'm your host for today margaret echege guys as you can see there's somebody on my left and it's one of nollywood's finest he is the infamous Ayidna Fuego. i'm so excited to meet you i have to say you look so good could you do like a 360 <laughs> okay you look so you look so nice Hmm. Ready to the uh, design of the wear at uh, Tia Apparel, so looks good. Yeah, thank you. I'd have to say, guys, the hype. You're not playing though. The hype is is deserved by him. Anyway, so is this your first time in Calabar? No. Oh, oh, I had a stint here growing up, and I'm. Uh, I, I went to Unico. You went to Unico. Yeah, and this is my fourth time being head judge for Miss Africa. So. Okay. So, what should people expect from the show today? Well, as usual, uh, see beautiful, intelligent uh, girls representing the continent, uh, you know, and um, this year's theme is uh, agro-industrialization. So um, I'm looking forward to hearing what their take is on how uh, the, uh, the continent can move forward, considering that, considering uh, the SDGs, considering uh, global warming, of course, climate change, poverty, you know, have real conversations and not just uh, stand tall on stage looking pretty so uh, a lot of glamour um, a lot of entertainment and uh, a lot of brains Good. so on a rate of like one to ten how excited are you to be here well I'm always excited to be here always always excited that's why I always come back when they call me so uh, first thing I do when I land Calaba is to find any um, the local stuff like you can only get here between the Afang and the Kakong and uh, the bush meter plantain so yesterday I opened uh, that show with uh, some uh, Grill their seafood uh, platter and bush meat and plantain. So, with all you have said, I'm guessing your favorite thing about Calaba has to be the food. Well, I mean... The food always comes first. <laughs> you can't take that away from Calaba. All right. Yeah. So, moving on, we're just going to ask you a few questions. Fun questions, like she said earlier. So, let's just get into it. So, if you weren't acting, what would you be doing? Well, I would have been a businessman of some sort. Oh, I, I still am, but I would have been a bit, a lot more um, like uh, active. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so are you currently in a relationship or married? Oh, yes, I am. Married. <laughs> okay, so what's your most embarrassing moment? Uh, not one I can think of right now. In this, okay. like, on, on the spot, I can't think of one. But yeah, several embarrassing <laughs> moments. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Pray. Pray? Mm -hmm. Could you tell us, like, do you just do like short prayers or you do like the whole... No, I do short prayers, but uh, since... Uh, the prayer channels came up every now and then I joined them so it, it extends yeah my mom makes sure I do that really I pray in the morning honestly that's the first thing you should do anyway okay so what's the do you prefer slim ladies or thick ladies um, uh, there's a range between slim and thick okay. uh, yeah so it, it runs me it goes beyond the body for me All right. yeah okay. It's more of like character and personality. There's that too. I mean, there's a, there was a range of body as well, not just this or that. <laughs> okay, yeah, we get it. Okay, so um, currently, what song from your playlist has been on like constant replay? Uh, what song has been on constant? I haven't done any uh, constant uh, replay of songs lately. Uh, well, what's your favorite song? Uh, my favorite song of all time uh, happens to be "Kiss from a Rose" by Seal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so out of all the movies you've acted, which would you say is your absolute favorite? I don't have an absolute favorite. Okay. Believe it or not, yes, I have, I, most projects I do are very close to my heart. Uh, they always uh, represent a conversation. Um, so just um, they all have, yeah, they all come with. Yeah, they're all close to my heart, so it's hard to pick a favorite because I, I throw myself into all of them and that's the only reason why I accept them, because I can. Okay, so um, if you could trade places with any celebrity, who would it be? Um, anywhere in the world? Yeah, anywhere in the world. Uh, uh, if I'm to keep it within the film space, I'll okay. say Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, okay. So, um, what's the craziest rumor you've heard about yourself? Well, that uh, I'm married to my sister. They don't, they don't know she's my sister. But when you look on Google and uh, you talk about the, uh, the, the, when they talk about the girls yeah. I've dated, uh, oh. the all top five, all five were wrong. And the number one that is, they insisted was the one was my sister. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Okay, so because you guys I are really close. very amusing because the girl comes on the top of my my search engine. Sad, but you like that? Oh yeah. No, I just find it amusing. Yeah. 
Okay, so moving forward, like it's 2023, what should your fans expect from you? Uh, first, I'm um, opening the year with uh, the uh, release of uh, Kings of Joburg season two. That's a Netflix original I do in South Africa. So um, the season one is on Netflix. So the season two, it's a Netflix original. It's uh, premiering in December on the 27th. Yeah, in January, sorry, of 2023. So that's how the, the year starts for me. So I'll be in South Africa for the for the premiere. Good. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget, this is Tune Freaks on Tune 3 Radio. Hello, guys. My name is Aina Wigwe, and you're watching Tune 3 Radio. Stay tuned.